Dano and Daniel Radcliffe star in a movie that is a cross between Castaway and Weekend at Bernie's. Directed by Dan Kwan and Daniel Skinnardi, starring Paul Dano as Hank. He is this guy that has run away because he is not loved by anybody. He feels so all alone. He doesn't feel like he can find anybody to fall in love with, so he runs away and he wants to kill himself. But just as he is about to do the deed, he sees a dead body washed up on the shore of this deserted island that he's on. So he goes to the dead body to see if, if this guy is still alive. And he finds out the dead body still has some life in it. It's Manny played by Daniel Radcliffe. And so this living corpse or zombie, I'm not exactly sure what Daniel Radcliffe's character is in this movie become friends and eventually try to get back to civilization. And that's pretty much the movie. Now, when I heard about this movie, this is an independent film, I was very interested in it and very anxious to see it. Paul Dano and Danny Radcliffe are terrific actors. This looks like to be a very unique film. I love independent movies. So I was really looking forward to this movie and it, it is a very good movie. I don't think this is a movie for everybody, but it is a very good film. Paul Dano and Daniel Radcliffe have great friendship chemistry in this film. They work off very well with each other in this movie and Paul Dano is really good as Hank in this film, showing a lot of feelings that anyone can feel in, the, in this person's position and this guy is very relatable. Then you have Daniel Radcliffe who is a dead man slowly but surely coming back to life and <laughs> there's a lot of good jokes around this guy. Lots of it is fart jokes but it's done pretty well. <laughs> And I like seeing Paul Dano using Daniel Radcliffe's body to shoot stuff out of his mouth, and that's so cool. <laughs> there is a point in the movie where Daniel Radcliffe and Paul Dano end up both falling for the same woman, They're both getting unrequited feelings for this one woman, played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead, and they becomes a big plot point in the movie, even though she is barely in the film. And that part was worked in pretty well. Let's talk about the negatives of this film, because this movie is not entirely great. The negatives of this film, first of all, is there are some things that are big gross about this movie, with the fact that Daniel Radcliffe's character is, is like a talking corpse, really. This is really Hank's only friend in, in the whole movie. And he uses Manny to survive sometimes. One of the things he does in order to keep himself alive is he drinks water out of Manny's mouth. And that's disgusting because this is a dead man, really. I mean, maybe there's still some life in him, but to drink water out of this guy's mouth, that's kind of disgusting. <laughs> and then there's some of the fart jokes are not funny, some of it is funny. It all depends on how the fart joke is done. <laughs> the unrequited love that mostly Paul Dano's character has for Mary Elizabeth Winstead's character does come off a bit creepy at times. But I did like this movie a lot and I think it's a really good movie. I definitely think people should see it. So I'm gonna give this movie a B plus. Definitely check this movie out. It really is a good movie. And that's all I gotta say for the Swiss Army Man.